I want to talk about UFC 308 for a bit here. It was a really fucking good card. It was it was nice and I didn't I didn't do fight predictions because we were still in the Halloween spooktober mode. <laughs> So I didn't want to, I don't know, eat my fucking testicle sack. Eat my sack with my testicles in it. But uh, from here on out, we're going to continue the fight for the shuns. Fight for the shuns. Um, I had to watch it at work. Because it was in Abu Dhabi. <clears throat> so it started at like 8 a.m the early prelims and I I like watching the early prelims <clears throat> and the prelims I had some cum in my throat because I was sucking off Tony Hinchcliffe's cock shut your fucking mouth <laughs> well, try to bad. keep this like a, a fist from your face I'll fist you Joe Rogan um yeah 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 UFC 308 I watched it great fucking card dude Honestly, I hated having to watch it at work, but it was good. It was a very, very good card. I didn't get to see the whole thing because I had to do work shit, but I got to see the important parts of it. Fucking Shara. Shara's double fucking spinning back fists. Oh my God, that shit was crazy. And I wanted Kamzat to win. So I'm glad he did win. Uh, but, man, I can't believe what he did to Whitaker. For those who don't know, first round, within three minutes, this is him here. Kamzat got Whitaker in a chokehold, all right? And almost immediately when he got in this position, before he even got under his neck, Whitaker tapped, all right? And as I was watching it, and as, as everyone was watching it, we were like, that is too quick of a tap. Something must have happened. And it turns out that uh, Kamza crushed his fucking chin, his jawbone, and like cracked it and shoved his te the th three bottom teeth like into his face. Look at this picture here. This is disgusting, and I hate looking at it. But look. Uh, uh, Ugh, that's disgusting, dude. Just fucking annihilated his jaw from a fucking chokehold. Squeeze. Crushed it. Can you believe that shit? All right. Now, I like Forrest. Forrest. Forrest Whitaker. What? You guys know who Forrest Whitaker is. Let me show you. Forrest White Taker. That's what I used to call him. This guy, he's got the eye. He's got an eye like I do. My eye is kind of like this guy's eye. I got one of those eyes too, Forrest. White taker. Anyway, um, I don't know what I was saying. I don't know. I wanted Kamza to win. Kamza won. So now there's a debate on whether or not Kamza's going to fight DDP. Or if Strickland's going to fight DDP. Uh, but Kamzat can't come to America. Because of uh, visa issues. Because he's dealing with some shit with the fucking... I don't know. Some... some I don't know. Some Middle East fucking bullcrap. I don't know the full story. But he can't come to America. So it's like... If people want Kamzat to fight DDP... Because Kamzat's now number three ranked. And he's ready for that belt... That means DDP is going to have to go to Abu Dhabi. But uh, DDP has the belt. So technically speaking, Kamzat should come to DDP. Dick, dick, pussy. Um, but who knows? You know, Kamzat and DDP would sell. But what I want to see happen, I want to see... I want to see Strickland. I still want to see Strickland fight DDP, okay? And I want to see Strickland get that belt back, which we all thought he fucking should have kept the belt in the first place because we all thought he won that fight, but I guess he didn't. So Strickland gets that belt back, and then Strickland fights 
Kamzat. But here's the thing. Is Strickland going to go to Abu Dhabi? I don't know. I mean, if the money's right, he's going to fucking get on a plane and fly. But I think he would go regardless. But still, the thing is, how often does the UFC cater to people other than the belt holder? Are they going to do it? I'm basing all this information off of what Brendan Schaub said as well. Brendan Schaub had some great points. Two episodes in a row, we're shobbing it up. But he had some great points about this. Is the UFC going to cater to Kamzat and make uh, either Strickland or DDP fly to Abu Dhabi? Huh? I don't know. And then let's say Kamzat wins the belt. Okay. Let's just say that happens. Then what? Now, is every time someone needs to go against Kamzat, they're going to have to fight in Abu Dhabi? That would be shitty. I wouldn't like that. Because then I got to be, well, I mean, it's kind of a selfish thing to say, but then I'd have to watch cards at 8 in the morning every time. That's no fun. No, no, no. But maybe, this is a long shot, but if Trump wins his presidency, which he's gonna, (laughs) there's no way he's not. (laughs) But if Trump wins... We all know Trump's buddy-buddy with fucking Dana White. So Dana's going to go to Trump and he's going to go, Hey, Mr. Tramp, can we do something about Kamzat's uh, fucking visa so we can get that mofk over here? And Trump's going to go, Yeah, let me do something about that. Maybe they'll figure something out. I doubt it, though. That's, That's not how that works. It'd be cool, though. It'd be cool to get cum shot over here. As Strickland calls him. I mean, I've always called him cum shot too, just because it's, you got to call him that. Uh, but fuck, dude. Strickland versus cum shot? Dude, that would be, oh. Are you kidding me right now? That would be so nice. That would be so nice. I like, I like my wife. Is that what autism does to you? I don't know. Uh, okay, but then we ha- okay, so then we had the main card, the or the the main event. Um, Holloway or yeah, Max Holloway versus Ilya Taporia. <sighs> Ilya's pretty great, man. Not gonna lie, but I was voting for Max as was most people. So to see him get fucking knocked out, well, TKO'd, it's fucking crazy, man. It's crazy. And also, Brendan Schaub had this had also another great idea where he thinks that instead of Conor McGregor coming in to fight Ilya Taporia or whoever, because they're not even close to the same weight class anymore, Conor McGregor, or why? No, that wasn't it, because they are in the same weight class, aren't they? I don't fucking know, dude. He was thinking that Conor McGregor, Brendan Schaub was thinking Conor McGregor should fight Max Holloway for the BMF belt. And I was like, oh, that's actually, that's a really fucking cool idea. That's a really nice idea. All right, because you got Ilya Taporia, who's running around, running his mouth saying he wants to fight fucking Makachev right now. And it's like, dude, chill the fuck out, bro. Chill out for a bit. Fucking uh, 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 fight the people in your own weight class first and earn the right to a second belt because everybody wants that second belt right now. I'm really starting to sound like Brendan Schaub now. I'm basically repeating everything Brendan already said, but uh, I agree with it a lot. And I think Conor McGregor, Conor McNugget, Conor McN... I didn't say it. Conor McN... Oh, I said it. <laughs> You know what uh, fucking Rampage Jackson called him? He said, I'm the original McGregor. I'm Connor McNeigh. Watch this full episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast by clicking the link in bio.